We are going to explain the Open BIM Construction Systems tool. This training material is part of the European BIM Speed project. Open BIM Construction Systems is a tool for defining building systems from BIM models. This definition can then be used in certain simulation and analysis programs, for example, thermal analysis. Open BIM Construction Systems can be used for the following scenarios. Defining BIM models construction systems, preparing the model for subsequent analysis and simulations in specific software. The tool can be used by architects and engineers who wish to determine the building systems used before sending information to the energy expert, who will then make the calculations and adjustments in tools such as Cypetherm E+. In the video, we will explain the following topics. Importing existing BIM models, hosting and transmitting of data through the cloud, defining constructive systems, including their thermal characteristics, exporting data to the cloud, which will then be imported to other applications. Open BIM Construction Systems, developed by SIP, is an application for defining the construction systems that make up a BIM model. This application is integrated into the Open BIM workflow via the BIM Server Center platform. The first step to follow to perform the construction definition is reading a BIM model. This model can come from modeling tools such as SIP Architecture, IFC Builder, Revit, ArchiCAD, Allplan, etc. This model must be exported to IFC format and linked to a BIM Server Center project. Linking our job to the project opens the Import Assistant, where we will select the IFC files we would like to import to open BIM construction systems. Once a model has been imported, the 3D view can be opened to check that the model has been imported correctly. All the tools for defining and assigning construction systems are situated in the top toolbar. First, we have to define them using the Construction Systems button. In the Construction Systems pop-up window, there are two options, Building Envelope and Partitioning System. Clicking on either option takes us to a construction systems library organised into further subgroups. For example, in the envelope we can find the groups facades, party walls, basement walls and roofs, among others. In each subgroup we can add, edit, copy and delete elements. To create a new construction system we use the add button. In the New Elements pop-up window, we must enter a reference matching the name of the construction system, specifying a description and characterization of the construction system, and selecting a colour to represent the material in the project construction model is optional. The tools for creating materials can be found in the lower part of the assistant. These tools allow us to create, edit, copy and delete materials from the current construction system's material list. We open the Material Creation menu with the Create button. Through this menu we can define materials with any manufacturer data that we possess, or use predefined data in the material libraries that the application offers the user. These libraries help us to speed up the definition of construction systems when a highly precise definition is not necessary, or we do not have access to this data. Each library has its own assistant for selecting materials with thermal data. These libraries include materials with properties extracted from national and international databases and standards, including materials according to the ASHRAE guidelines. We can save the construction systems in local libraries that we can then load in other projects. Next, we assign the defined construction systems to the imported BIM model. There are two ways of doing this using the Construction Systems Automatic Assignment tool or using the Individual Assignment tool. The Automatic Assignment tool opens the Assignment Assistant, where links between created construction systems and the BIM model elements can be created, edited and deleted. To assign construction elements automatically we have three options, by name or reference, by type of element or by name filter. Any of these three methods captures all the elements of the scene, filters them, and applies a specified construction system to them.
Once all of the construction systems have been assigned, we can automatically generate different documents regarding the model's construction elements. Finally, this information can be exported to BIM Server Center and used in other programs, such as, for example, the SipeTherm suite. Thank you for your attention.